Welcome back to Collecting Wit Maryfield. That's right, the channel is changing. It's no longer DMC Sports. It's all about my favorite royal, Wit Maryfield. Look at that. Boom. Turkey Red Chrome, people. Some kind of mojo black card. I have no idea. I don't have it. I bought it. It's some kind of white chrome heritage card. Look at that. This one's purple. All star game. It's thick. I have no idea. It's cool. I didn't have it. So I picked it up. I got nothing else to buy, people. So then I wanted this card so I could touch it. It's so texturized. That's right. I got a bunch of these and I don't have the official metallic flake. So I had to buy that. Some guy was selling them for 20 and I wasn't paying attention. And I offered him eight, uh, 16 and he came back with 18. And then I went ahead and did a search and I bought this for 199 So ooh, we gotta, it, it, it helps to shop around. Sometimes I just, just click, just click. Um, what's wrong with this card? This is the Indigo Blue. What's wrong with it? Nothing wrong with it. It's cool. Um, Don Ross, uh, this year's, it's purple, hollow purple, I think. Uh, I think this was the, yep, I had to buy this as a two-pack. This is the second time I bought this two-pack. The autograph and the base card. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'll take a base card. This things were like eight bucks for both. No big deal. Ooh, this is another uh, texture flake. Look how Christmassy it is. Ooh, little holly jelly Christmas there. So I'll put this out at Christmas time next to my tree. Yes, right. Uh, a Christmas, Christmas Mirrorfield. Ooh, there's another one of these. This time it's a, a green non. Oh, it is numbered. This one's the numbered 99 green one. This one's a nice card. Uh, it was pretty sweet. And this is my new pickups for Mirrorfield Whitley. Two hit wit. I got more coming. And I've got like a whole stack of here and I got to put in. I'm waiting for all of them to come and I'll put them in my sheets and get it all organized. Fun stuff like that. Do you guys know who Whit Merrifield is? <laughs> if you do, give me a like. Be like, I know Whit Merrifield. He, he leads the league in hitting and hits and, and stuff like that. He steals a lot of bases and he, he plays a lot of different stuff. So I like to put video up of him with my videos. I'll find some other video to put at the end of this. And so you can see why I like. The Whitfield, as I call them. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the video at the end. And we come in at number five, and at number five, it's Whit Merrifield of the Kansas City Royals. Merrifield has been splitting time at second base and in the outfield, and this year is expected to see more time in the outfield for Kansas City. He played all 162 last year, playing plus defense at difficult defensive positions. He gets on base, runs very well, although there were some concerns last year with that. He went from 45 to 20 steals last year, and his base running runs went from over seven, that's elite, to just 1.5. And he is now entering his age 31 season. Now, you might wonder how Merrifield's offense translates as he goes from the second base talent pool to the center field talent pool. Well. Here it is. Over the last two years, he would rank fifth in on base, sixth in OPS plus, and fourth in war. Second base and center field historically are actually very similar in hitting prowess, as both have great requirements for defense. There's a reason that you never hear, let's just stick this guy in center field. Merrifield gets to center field. Now, I do wonder, and this is something historically, when you start a further study into the game, the defense required at center field, it's like being a second baseman. But here's a guy who can play both, and the Royals are going to put him in center. What do you think of Merrifield there? I, I love his versatility. Um, it's just, I didn't really know what to do with him, right? I mean, he was number three on the shredders list last season as a second baseman, and it's like, okay, this is a good player. He's one of the few guys where he hits above 300, 302, 348 on base percentage last season, 112 OPS plus. I don't really know what he's going to do. You look at his center field metrics, his four defensive runs saved in 373 innings. I, man, I... Look at the I positions, said, though. Yeah, I, I had a, <laughs> it's insane. I had a tough, I had a tough time with them. Yeah, just, yeah, me just too. because of that versatility. Right. And, you know, maybe as our dude Harold Reynolds suggests, we need a versatility sort of position to right. go ahead and rank the all utility team. Think of the real world value of this, though. Like, just to forget the shredder for a second. The real world value of a guy who plays 76, 76 starts at second, 16 in center, yeah. 53 in right, also a handful of games at first base, handful of games in left field. Can play everywhere. That's a very valuable guy. No. I know you said he's not overwhelming you, like his variance isn't high, but he's steady now the last couple of years in the real world. You gotta love this player. I agree, I do. Whit Merrifield making the top 10.